with respect to the this big about the draft and everything, just with the Lamar stuff that's going on. Hey guys, are guys, you, are you all that, looking at quarterbacks? Out, out, out. This is about the draft. Just move off the the Can I ask Mark, yeah. 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 Are you looking at quarterbacks differently because of the situations going on? And just like that, we have a story on our hands. This was supposed to be a press conference where Baltimore Ravens head coach John Harbaugh and general manager Eric DaCosta met the media. Instead, we have Team PR demanding reporters not ask questions privy to the entire state of the franchise. Award-winning reporter Alex Glaze of WJZ would ask the question, and would be subsequently cut off. There's a lot to this. Okay, first from Awful Announcing. Glaze started his question off saying, when you are looking at quarterbacks, and the PR person called Glaze out by his first name, adding, this is about the draft, then demanded the reporter ask a different question, and then said, hey, let's just move on. And if you have a question about the QBs, ask about the QBs in the draft. And, quote, we're not going to answer any more questions about that. Okay. Glaze would then tweet, I asked Eric DaCosta if the Ravens are looking at quarterbacks differently given the Lamar Jackson situation. Legitimate question. Not sure what the issue was. And he capped it off with a shrugging emoji. He would later delete the tweet. Unknown why. We learned on March 27th, through Lamar Jackson's own Twitter account, he requested a trade, a revelation that remained hidden since March 2nd. I will say this is the second time Lamar Jackson has undercut the franchise. The first was when, during the playoffs, he revealed the extent of his injury and why he didn't play. The second is this, when he sent John Harbaugh out to the Wolves to the media, right before he was set to meet the media, rather, he tweeted this trade request, and then Harbaugh had to answer questions about it. Oddly enough, if the report were to be believed, Baltimore tried signing Baker Mayfield in a trade offer, though Mayfield would later sign with Tampa Bay. The team was also rumored to be in the running for Jacoby Brissett, who would sign with Washington. The most notable answer, however, from DaCosta was it appears they are looking into potentially drafting a quarterback. Jackson was given the non-exclusive tag. No teams made an offer. Shockingly, the Atlanta Falcons would rather go with Desmond Ritter than Lamar Jackson, which is a clear fit and also utterly stupid. So, okay, let's cap this off here. Um, the Lamar Jackson stuff is one of the oddest revelations I have ever seen in sports because you have an MVP who is arguably the best quarterback in the league in his prime, and he can't get signed, and no team wants him. And the Atlanta Falcons, who made it known how bad they wanted Deshaun Watson, a man with his own rap sheet, a man with his own problems and troubles. A man who, I believe, tore his ACL a few times. They wanted Deshaun Watson. But yet, when it comes to Lamar Jackson, they're like, nope, nope. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Someone help me. I am confused. I do not understand what's going on here. It's, it's either one of two things. It's either, and I've spoken with uh, some people who have a long track record in the NFL, have said that it is collusion. But if it's not collusion, do the Ravens know something we don't? But Monty Jones brought this up, and it, it, it's pure speculation because we do not have any information. Is he unhealthy? I don't think he is. I think he just wants his money. And if Daniel Jones is going to get his money and Deshaun Watson is going to get his money, when Lamar Jackson is far superior than both, and he can't get paid that amount, the math ain't mathin'. I don't know what's going on here, but I've never seen something like this. A free agent 
like Lamar Jackson, potential, like Lamar Jackson has no suitors, it just doesn't make sense.